Hello guys, I'm going to show you how to create an animated sidebar in Star React. At first, let me create my folder called my sidebar inside components and inside my folder, let's create a sidebar.js, which is our component source and another file for my CSS. Let's call it sidebar.css. All right, let's go and do the initialization inside sidebar.js. Okay, let me zoom in as well. And next step is to add sidebar.js to app.js. Okay. And let me go back to sidebar.js and import my style sheet. Import uh, the same path. Okay, sidebar.css. Great. And uh, let's create our layouts. At first step, we create an H4 tag my sidebar okay let's take a look great and uh, let me close this okay and uh, let me create the div tag for my sidebar let's uh, give it a class name like my side and uh, wrap this h4 inside this div tag okay the next thing is a button for our sidebar which is going to be the burger or uh, the closing tag. Let's give it a class name of a BTN. Okay, and let me paste the SVG for uh, the burger button. Okay, it should be this uh, icon or, or this uh, closing tag. Let's put X. Okay, let's take a look. Great. And now uh, we need to actually create a state for our sidebar. The state is is open and the sidebar is open okay and set state is set is open and it's equal to a use state use state make sure you import it and initial value is true all right let me uh, cut the whole thing and put the curly braces and set the condition if is open is true i want to see the svg tag uh, unless I want to see the closing tag. Okay, let's take a look. All right, as you can see, by default is true, so I see the SVG tag. And the next step is to add an unclick button for our button, and it's going to be an error function that sets the is open to it's not. Okay, so if it's true, it becomes false, as you can see. Okay. I think we're done with our template. Let's go to our CSS and select my side and give it a full width, 100 viewports and some padding like two. Z index should be minus one. And uh, this is an important part. Transition should be one second and is in out. Okay. It's going to be very smooth for, uh, for animations. Okay. And let me add a class name for our button like trigger btn and let me copy and select it inside css all right first set the position to absolute and then from left 12 pixels and from top like 16 pixels okay let's take a look great and the next step is to uh, and also let me select the h4 tag and give it a position relative and move it from top a little bit okay great and next step is to uh, add some styling for uh, when the sidebar is going to be uh, changed actually and one is a side open for uh, the time that sidebar is open and the other one is a side close uh, which is the class that is going to be applied when the sidebar is closed okay when it's open i want the width to be like 250 uh, pixels and when it's closed i want the width to be zero okay it won't be a completely zero because the index is minus one but it's going to be fine let me put the template literals here okay like this and uh, hit enter all right dollar sign curly braces okay and now if is open is true uh, we uh, need to apply side close and unless we should apply side open class let me copy it 
okay side open all right and uh, that's all i guess and as you can see it works perfectly slides in and out great that's all thanks for watching